Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 2nd of December, 2023 here. We're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here. Again, don't want to alarm anybody here, but you've got 22 days and a few hours here before Christmas. So it's coming in at warp speed for sure. Right now, we thought we'd talk El Nino here. It looks like it's peaking as we speak. It's strong. It's definitely not record shattering. So not the hype that uh, a lot of folks intimated, but again, a strong El Nino for sure. And that's just simply the warming of the equatorial Pacific Ocean there. You see there... uh, in the central pacific there so again it looks like uh, models left uh, this is going to be toward la nina as we talk uh, this time next year so again it's a quick hit here does not look like a prolonged el nino event um, we're already seeing the signature finally again some uh, much water weather across the northern hemisphere so we'll talk about that again it's a sign that uh, el nino is responding to the atmosphere uh, not so much on the snow front just yet. Again, we think this will pick up more toward the uh, Christmas time frame into early March, mid-March. Um, season to date, we're down about 38% nationally versus last year, 32% below average, ninth least of the past 38 years. Again, we added some uh, heavier snow there in Kansas and Oklahoma and even parts of New England here this past week. Uh, the good news on the flu trend, uh, again, we're healthier population than last year by a lot, almost uh, twice as much. Uh, so 47% less severe flu season so far. Orange last year was just off the scale, most in 13 years, uh, near record of the past 20 years. So a very, very active start last year, peaking at Thanksgiving. This year, the peak's going to head more of a domey shape, um, not as severe, and uh, probably more toward late December, January time frame. Um, so again, you see that map bottom right there, you know, just widespread reds and purples are widespread flu activity in this year, a lot more greens and yellows, so not as severe for sure. So healthier people, uh, more shopping and out and about, um, good for retail sales. Look at the last week world summary here, ending here today. Um, it's a cooler week, uh, 1.9 cooler than last year nationally, coldest in five years, 19th warmest in 38 years, but a below average, slightly below average week for the nation as a whole, especially east. Uh, looking at um, 14% drier than a year ago, but still 17th wettest, so above average. And Snowfall just 1% more than a year ago, so most in four, but still below average. Uh, map since that left for the trends versus average. This big map or how our retail customers look at it uh, year over year changed from the same time last year. So cold in Europe and colder in Eastern Europe, that was good for retail seasonal sales. Then we talk polar vortex here. Again, what we look for this time of year is uh, it's well established, obviously, but um, and it's a normal feature uh, over the North Pole. But uh, it, if it's very strong and symmetrical, it keeps all that cold air bottled up uh, in the Arctic in siberia and if it's not uh, gets ragged and weaker you can get those intrusions into north america and europe so it looks like it gets a little more ragged here toward the end of this 14-day period here so we think this will become even more ragged as we get into late december january february Uh, so with more frequent intrusions of colder air uh, again uh, right now it's bottled up in siberia and russia if we look at uh, this week here three through nine december um about 2.2 warmer than last year, warms in eight years, fourth warms in 38 years, so above average there. Uh, 41% less snow than last year, least in 11 years, and 13% drier. So warm, dry, less snow is good for retail store traffic, not so great for seasonal sales. But they had a strong Black Friday and stronger week last week. So again, uh, it'll be a lull here for those, but uh, again, good news for, uh, again, overall Christmas shopping and store traffic. The six-day snowfall trend here looks like a lot, but really it's 47% less than last year, least in eight years, fourth least in 38 years, so 75% below average with about 23% of us getting some snow, some there in New England and the Appalachians, and again, very high elevations of the West. Again, so uh, in fact, that looks like a lot, but again, it's uh, a bit below average. Next week looks to be a very stormy week. Again, a lot of rain, so this uh, week ending the 16th, mid-December, 2.7 2.7 warmer than last year, fifth warm in 38 years, so much above average again. Again, very hot there in the warm this time of year for the central plains. Uh, snowfall down about 82%, least in five years, six least in 38 years, below average there. Rainfall off the scale, we'll see about this, uh, 23% wetter than last year, making it the number one wettest in over 38 years. Uh, so some snow in the high elevations of the Sierras and the Rockies, um, spilling out into the northern plains, we'll see. And then again, just very wet east coast, uh, midwest where they need it. Uh, So again, a wet, stormy week. Uh, This is not great for retail store traffic, better for online shopping. Um, If you're hunkered indoors and not braving the elements, again, retail sales on e-commerce online sites uh, tend to do better in that scenario. If we just look at the November, December, very critical period here for retail seasonal sales. These bar charts on the top left is uh, temperature trends. Again, so a very cold start, a much colder start at the beginning of November, then a big warm up in the middle, and then that very cold Black Friday, uh, Thanksgiving weekend was the coldest in 10 years. So that was a huge surge for seasonal sales. And then now you see here these red bars uh, 
Again, a warmer year-on-year trend generally is the theme uh, going into Christmas. In fact, the week before Christmas, much, much warmer than a year ago. Uh, Not to say there won't be some cold spells in there, but just much, much warmer than the near-shattering, record-shattering cold we had last year. We think that cold will come in as the polar vortex weakens as we get into uh, uh, late December, right around Christmas and beyond, and then really continuing January, especially February, looks particularly brutal for cold and snow, especially the eastern half of the country. And then uh, chart right is just the precip trends. So that very wet week there in mid-December and wetter weeks as we go through the end of the year. So that tends to hurt store traffic a bit. Maps left just show the year-on-year trends for November, December. So colder northeast uh, for this November, December and drier. Um, so periods of rain and snow, but uh, not as wet as last year. And if we look at this world two-week aggregate now, just aggregating the 3rd through the 16th, again, all that cold air, polar vortex, not too hard to find, uh, really from uh, Eastern Europe all the way into Russia and Siberia, Central Siberia. So that's where it's camped out for now. Uh, we'll see if that can begin to move here in a, a few weeks here. Uh, here across North America, obviously, wall-to-wall warm. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and uh, we will be back here again this time next week. Um, real quick, snow. Again, snow looks... Um, Again, this is on a scale, real quick, of um, 12 to 18 inches. So those blues are a foot, uh, foot and a half. Uh, again, so again, uh, northern, uh, northeast uh, Canada, higher elevations of the Rockies, and again, across to Siberia. So again, talk to you this time next week, folks. Mm-hmm.